my ideas usually came rather suddenly. Usually is unexpected. YC Fung is hereby honored as the 2007 recipient of the Fritz J. and Dolores H. Russ Prize. I first met Dr. Fung when I was attending school at UCSD. I had actually just embarked on a second career. I had gone back to school thinking that I would go to medical school and become a doctor. One of the doctors at the hospital I worked at said, no, 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 go into biomedical engineering. Biomechanical engineering is the wave of the future. Engineering can help medicine. I took this first course in continuum mechanics and the first few weeks I thought, Oh, what a mistake I've made. To make matters worse, I had the professor that wrote the book for you know, my class, and that was extremely intimidating. To work with students is always my desire. One of the first homework assignments we had was to determine the stresses and loads on pin-jointed trusses, and I had no clue as to what I was doing or how to even approach it. And I kept thinking, you know, I should go and ask the teacher, but, you know, I just felt so intimidated. When I was a student, I never had really feel I'm a teacher, he's a student, or she's a student. But I approached him after class, and he um, said, you know, if you have time, let's sit down right now. And I, I was pretty amazed because being, you know, such a prestigious person in the department and so busy with research, he took probably two hours to work with me on the, the whole area and theory of, of trusses and how to figure out the homework problems. Working together is greater pressure. It was a pivotal moment in my career because it was sort of a catalyst to deciding, okay, I think I can do this. I understand it. Um, I understand what engineering is about. I understand how it relates to the body. And that's teacher's reward. Numerex is devoted to developing minimally invasive medical devices to treat primarily lung cancer and COPD or emphysema. What we're trying to do is simulate the worst case scenario, trying to get one of the higher lobes, which is you know farther up. up into the one of the things that I think is marvelous and interesting about bioengineering and biomedical engineering is you need a thorough understanding of materials as well as the mechanics of things, as well as design, and all of those things are based in the principles that I learned when I was in school and very much so on the teachings of Dr. Fung and particularly the series of books that he developed in the biomechanical area. The reason I'm writing books is that that's a, in order to explain something, you cannot really say a few words. You need to put all the background down. By the time you put all the background down, it's a book. We had a problem here at Numerex in regards to one of the devices we're developing to treat COPD. My vice president of research and development came to me with a set of uh, Dr. Fung's books and said, I just found you know, the answer to the problem in these books. These are great. I'm going to buy these books for all of the engineers in the department. And uh, I started laughing and said, the guy who wrote those was my teacher at school. So he's a celebrity <laughs> at Numerex. Dr. Fung clearly had that visionary thinking. The books that he wrote and the research that he did was um, you know, way before its time. Dr. Fung has really profoundly affected the direction that my life has taken and my career has taken. Dr. Fung's work has, has led to the invention of, of what most people consider to be artificial skin. Uh, particularly as applied to, to burn victims. Materials which allows for reconstruction of joints. Personal body armor for people in the military and emergency personnel. Protective devices in cars such as seat belts, airbags. The overall net effect has been truly profound.